Hey, Ms. Parker's Makers, it's Mr. Miller here talking to you from Colorado. Um, thanks for having two such great days. That was a report I heard from Thursday, Friday, and looking forward to another good one today. And um, yeah, just wanted to show you I've been busy while I've been away and sure appreciate Ms. McClintock taking charge and letting you keep making in the maker space. So yeah, well, I'm out here at the Air Force Academy and, you know, been visiting my son who goes to school there and one exciting thing went to the football game where a parachuter from the parachute team jumped into the football stadium before the game this flag that's actually dragging behind her uh, flying behind her is as big as my classroom it's 40 feet long it is huge so give you a sense of that was pretty cool jumping into there then i've gotten to do some cool hiking with my daughter and my wife um, place called Garden of the Gods, and then really kind of fun. We didn't expect this, but um, met a new friend who flies hot air balloons, and they're having a big hot air balloon festival this weekend in Colorado Springs. And the balloon that Jeff flies is this giant frog. Isn't that cool? And here it is lit up at night. And this morning, my daughter actually got to hop in and take a ride. She took this picture, and you can see the other balloons off flying. They had 75 balloons flying. So pretty neat. Um, we're, we're having a good time, although we'll fly back tomorrow morning, and I'll see you hopefully Wednesday morning. But let's talk about what you're going to do, okay, in that um, there's a great video called I Want Iguana. If you haven't watched it yet, let's pause and watch that. Um, but if you have, then my big question for you is what sort of port pet do you wish you could have living with you? Maybe it's an iguana, maybe it's something else. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to build a model of it. Okay. And it can be a real animal, like a dog, a cat, a hamster, a goldfish, you know, any of those things that are pictured there, those real animals. But it could also be something that you imagine or something that used to be a dinosaur or a butterfant, a penguin, a quoll, a rolled fish, combination of rooster and a goldfish, or maybe the tigger and giraffe, tigraff, or even the golden doodle and the camel combination. One of my favorites. All right. you If you think of something, yeah, that's going to be okay. So what's that perfect pet that you could imagine? And then you've got some options. You can build it with Lego. I've got tons of Lego, as you know. We've got another tool called Knix, and they're kind of fun to play with. They're real different. You can see they look real different, but you can build lots of things with Knix. Also got pipe cleaners, okay? Or you could combine the three of them. Maybe it's a little Lego and a little Knix and a little pipe cleaner to make that creature that you want. Or if you're a pen and pencil or pen and colored pencil or crayon, um, you can draw, okay? But what I'd like to do is, to the best of your ability, what's that perfect animal that you wish you had? Now, you're not going to have to get it done today. Yeah, some of you may get moving on it pretty well, but there's always details you could add to it. But why don't you get as far as you can, and then we'll keep what you've created on the shelf, okay? And so if you end up with a couple extra pieces that you're like, oh, I'm going to add this tomorrow, just put them on the shelf, Okay. And we'll organize there. Um, these shouldn't be huge, though. It shouldn't be any bigger than a normal sheet of paper. Or you might see some cardboard pieces on the shelving there. That's another model if you're looking for how big of a Lego or Kinex you can build. But more I'm interested in the thinking. What is this? You know, what's your perfect pet? And hopefully you could tell me why. What, what has you so excited about that particular animal or that creation as a pet? Look forward to seeing what comes out. All right. Have a great day.